welcome to Brazil, the largest country in South America, the fifth largest nation in the whole world. And today, as an African content creator in this beautiful country, I'm going to explore and share my experience as an African who is visiting Brazil. <laughs> Hey, listen, exploring Brazil via plane or bus from one point to another feels like you're traveling within a continent, which means that Brazil is so vast. Brazil is a blessed country, a country that is blessed with heavenly gorgeous beaches, a country that is blessed with gold, diamond, bauxite, and many other natural resources, a country that is blessed with the largest rainforest in the whole world. What more can I tell you about Brazil? Agriculture is one of the backbones of this beautiful country. I mean, listen, I feel like Brazil and Africa got a lot in common. What do you think? Leave that in the comment section. But hey, did you know that the football nation got a trouble past? A country that is built on slavery and exploitation of its natural resources, making the present Brazil a diverse country, which is made up of Europeans, Africans, and Amerindians, the real indigenous of the land who has been living here for over 11,000 years before the arrival of the Europeans. Despite their differences, they've been able to come together to build one of the best countries in the world with the most beautiful and popular cities, just like Rio de Janeiro. Salvador, the blackest nation out of Africa, where Michael Jackson did his popular music video, they don't care about us. See? Brasilia, the capital city of Brazil, did you even know that? It's the most organized city in Brazil. And the city that you and I are gonna explore today, Sao Paulo, the largest city in Latin America and the economic power of Brazil. I'm so excited to be here. Like this video, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and don't forget to share this video. But hey, this is the home of the carnival. Enjoy Brazil. <laughs> I believe I'm in Brazil, bro. I just can't believe it. conhecido por ser um lugar com muita diversidade cultural, um lugar muito importante de você visitar quando você vier ao Brasil, São Paulo, a região central é, do, de São Paulo é a Avenida Paulista, um lugar bem-vindo ao Brasil. I made it. Good morning from Sao Paulo, the largest city in Brazil in terms of population. And believe me or not, it's not what I expected. I'm so sorry to say this because I've heard a lot about Brazil, man, but I never knew that Brazil is this beautiful or Brazil is this developed. Look at the view from my window, man. Just look at the view. They are so big on apartment, but I want to tell you that if you're coming to Sao Paulo, don't spend money on hotels, spend money on Airbnbs. I mean, this is my minimalist Airbnb and it cost me $43. 
and I love it. I, I just love it because I feel like I'm still living in my own house. You, you can see the minimalist bed. I got my TV right here, my wardrobe, my mini kitchen right here. Um, this is a sofa, but this sofa can, is convertible. You can convert it into into what you call it a, a bed and look at the view like i got planes landing from that's a plane landing so there's an airport right in here it's more like a domestic airport just close to me so i mean i'm living in the middle of the city this is not the main reason why i'm here the main reason why i'm in brazil is to bridge the gap between africans living in africa and africans that were taken forcefully from africa and brought to the new world so before i show you the beauty of sao paulo first assignment i need to know the history of afro brazilians how my people got in here hence visiting the afro brazilian museum in sao paulo I love it when I see Africans that are found at the other side of Africa connecting back to their roots. You know, this is a museum and you could see the representation of how Africans were taken from the continent, I mean forcefully taken out of the continent to the new world. So they've represented that in here. So as you can see, that's the African map. This is how Africans were taken by the Portuguese. So you see, these are Portuguese right here and Africans were chained you know were chained so a lot of africans were taken out of the continent chained that's the representation that you see and they were put on smaller boats they were packed on smaller boats and then out of the smaller boat they were all taken from different part of africa and then put them in a bigger boat like this and then brought them to the new world by the portuguese people you see some even could not make it to the sense that they fell inside the water like this is a real representation of slavery that happens way back and it's good that they are educating people about it for people to know that this is our history and this is what happened and it's sad if Africans coming from the continent don't even acknowledge that something like that happened but people out here know that hey this is our history and this is our story it means like we gotta travel more of this country just to bring more of these stories to you guys to know that even though they are not in Africa, but I still let people know that this is where we came from. You see, this is the culture of Benin. You know, growing up in Ghana, we used to use this. Wow. That's Angola Luanda right there. So the culture of Angola, right, representing. Man. Look at that. If I had my way around, the goal is to travel to every black nation in the whole world, but it's so expensive. That's what I'm telling you guys. Please, we've created a travel fund. Support us in any way that you can because traveling to this part of the world, it's not easy. But we are going to Salvador. That's where we are going. But being in Sao Paulo, come on, I cannot come in here without showing you how beautiful this city is because I feel like it's so diversified. I feel like there's so much to see in this city. So I'm just gonna spend two days in here, go to the street. Don't know what the street got to offer, but I'm here to show you the Brazil or the Sao Paulo that you don't see on TV. So this is our apartment and that's the uber for today and trust me when you come to brazil you don't even need the ubers especially sao paulo i think they got one of the best transportation systems that i've seen with the bus with the metro but in case um you have more money to spend use the uber just like what i'm doing but i'm not the one paying for it man this guy what do you do man okay so my name is isaac and i live in sao paulo for more than eight years uh, I've been to many states in uh, Brazil. Uh, what I do is uh, I travel to show other countries to people and how people uh, live and the good side of the country, you understand? The link to his channel will be in the description. The name is already on the screen. You guys go check him out and support him, man. But 
he he has done something amazing since we came in here trust me i i got in here i was like you know what who is this guy he sent me a message i responded i told him to come and meet me the whole of yesterday we moved around and he's like ah you don't need to use your card i'm gonna use my card for everything i'm like bro what do you mean but yeah he did it and um, that's why i'm in uber today if you were to be one of my alone i'll be using the trains and uh, buses to save money but yeah this is why you all need to go and um subscribe to his channel and uh, yeah follow him to support him man you just have to travel the world to go see the world for yourself because believe me or not this is not the Brazil that I saw on TV I know this is not Africa I know this is not a kind of videos that I've been doing but you see when you hear brazil out there we talk of poverty we talk of football we talk about slums because if you watch documentaries about footballers coming from brazil they're all coming from the slum but believe me this part of brazil were never shown in any documentary that i've watched and listen i just want to tell you all that it's about time you go out there you go live your life you go learn something new like it's a super clean country, well organized, incredible people. I wish I speak Portuguese, man, because everyone in this country is super friendly, even though we don't understand each other. Man, look at that. Just look at that. Woo. Let me tell you a fun fact about this country, or Sao Paulo in general. Like every two minutes, you see helicopter passing by, man. Every two minutes, I see helicopters cruising and uh, Another thing that I've seen is that everyone has a tattoo, man. Almost, almost everyone that I see. Why? I want to know why. I don't know. Because it's, it's so strange when I, you know, coming from Africa and then, you know, you have any? I have one. Oh, yeah. But I got heads before. That's why I did this. Oh yeah. But here, everybody. Yes. Wow. Yeah, it's very popular. Very popular. I, I, I don't know, but I did my first tattoo when I was uh, 15. <laughs> <laughs> This is my first day in Sao Paulo and first impression I'm gonna tell you that this is definitely one of the most developed cities in the world one more thing it's super clean listen there are dustbins everywhere in this city I mean if you can look around me whether you can find like maybe something on the ground like more like a plastic or anything like that you will never see anything of that sort this is not the city that i was expecting because anytime you see brazil on tv that's not what we see so it's exciting to see that this is the real brazil that they don't show you oh my goodness and what i really love about the city is the transportation whatever i'm telling you is more like what i see with my naked eyes you see every one minute you see a bus passing by and even with the bus that's another transportation system that they got but they got the subway they got the metro they got the trains they got the taxis they got the ubers incredible city and should i tell you this what do you see i mean can you guys give them 360 what do you see what, what, what do you see you see greens everywhere so should i tell you that sao paulo is also a green city I love this place, man. You see? I told you every one minute. No, I should change it to every 30 seconds because another bus just passed by. And there are police everywhere in the city making sure that the city is super safe. I've not been to the rest of Brazil, but I would say that so far so good. This is one of the safest places so far in the world. Yeah, I mean, based on where I've been to. I wish, I, I mean, but everyone speaks Portuguese in here. And the only Portuguese word that I know is hola, como esta, tutu bang, and yeah. <laughs> Obrigado! <laughs> so it's not every one minute, it's every 
five seconds or ten seconds. The least is ten seconds. I'm so sorry, that was first impression, but what he's saying is right because the next five seconds, you see another bus right here and another one behind me in one second. But this is a bus stop, right? Yeah, this is a bus stop. Where are we going right now? We are going to where the uh, Golden where you can find Africans. All nationalities are there. You can find Nigerians, you can find Brazilians, you can find Ghanaians, you can find Congolese, you can find Cameroonians, you can find Quebec people, you understand? That's it. That beauty is uh, specifically for Africans. That's why you can see a lot of Africans. And as an African YouTuber, I cannot come to this country without seeing my own people. Yeah. So yeah, we are about to take a bus. Oh my goodness, that's such a fresh bus, man. Look at that. So, I believe that the bus is numbers, right? Yeah, they are numbers. So you have, you have to know where you are going. All right, so let's go see my brothers. For a short distance, he decided not to pay for it, and the woman said that's okay. Yeah, that's so cool, man. Uh, so, you know, when you get to the next location, you stop and take another one short. Short, short. <laughs> <laughs> so I get to <laughs> Beach part of the mile. That's the street where you can find Africans. In. So we are on our way going there to eat an African food. But this street is so diversified because I see everyone in here, but especially more black people within here. But I'm so hungry. I have to eat some African meal. I'm in Africa right now, and because everyone in here looks like me, man. That's yeah, good. wow. What's that? Where's the food? We are taking the lift. Oh, the lift. Oh, wow. It's like a. Oh. These are all African shops. Yeah, these are African. Now your family. Come on, baby. Welcome to Brazil. Thank you. See this man. Yeah. See this man. Yeah. See this man. See this man. Hey. See my love. I'm fine. How about you? Thank you. Where are you from? Nigeria. Nigeria. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you. All right. What am I? Yeah. I'm gonna take you around Brazil with this man. Oh, really? This is my the first job I have here in Brazil. He's the one. I want to get to that job. That was 2015. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I was working here one of the restaurants. He's the person that helped me in this country. <laughs> I'm a Christian while he's a Muslim. Oh. And he asked me to go to that place, they will give me their job. Do you get it? That's amazing, man. So I have to pray with Muslim people before I have to work with them. Yeah. 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 Imagine that. What am I? What yeah. Your yeah. yeah. Good to see you. Welcome Good to, to see you. Brazil. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. I'm a subscriber. I'm a subscriber. I'm a subscriber. I'm not robots. No robots. Wow, this is absolutely amazing, man. I can't believe that I'm in Brazil and there are people out here that watches my videos, man. Yo, let me know in the comment section where have you been watching me from? Hi. Hi. <laughs> How long have you been here? 
Uh, it's eight years now. Eight years. It seems yes, everyone is, has been here for eight years, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, in Brazil. Yes. It's like you brought the whole Nigeria to Brazil, man. We are trying. Yet. We are trying our best. Mm. We are trying uh, our best. If, if you, happy. To make Brazil happy. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Look at that. Everything that you want to buy from Nigeria is here. This is called catfish. Hey, what's it called? Catfish. Everything. So when you when you live here, you're definitely not gonna miss Africa, man. Uh, it, it, it's giving me a vibe of uh, Guangzhou, China, man. Like everything is here. Did you hear that? Everything you need from Nigeria is here. Everything. What I mean, even there are some things that they can't find in Nigeria is here. I love that. This one is expensive. Yeah, yeah, this one. Wow. Everything. You can get everything here. So who, who shops from here? The Nigerians that are living in Brazil? Nigeria, yes. Wow. That's amazing, man. If you look at that, Ibokuenu, the outfit. Like, literally, this is Africa, man. Like, you cannot tell me that you are not in Africa, man. Even if with the music that they are playing. This one says short. This one says short. This one says short. Me, I say Sprite or Fanta. If she doesn't see Sprite, she take Fanta for me. That's what I say. Sprite is there. Two, 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 two Fanta. It feels like Ghana, man. You know, just that in Ghana we don't have subways, but this one, you know, people are selling in the subway, man. That's crazy. You know, it's more like people selling in trotros in Ghana. <laughs> oh. But I mean, taking a ride in the subway feels like um, back in the days in China. What are you selling, man? Pessoal, galera, pra quem não pegou, ainda tem. Ô, oh, pessoal, ah, pode comer por fora, ó, mais um, segundo, ó, mais um. If you ever make it to Sao Paulo, this is one of the most famous streets in the country that you don't need to miss. What is the name of the street? This is Avenida Paulista. And what, what makes it so famous then? Yeah, this place is well known because most of the demonstrations that happen in Brazil happens here and you can, uh, your voice can be heard here. But the whole of Brazil, all eyes are on Avenida Paulista. And whenever you come to Avenida Paulista and you don't come to Masby, that's the building, Masby, that means you are not in Sao Paulo. Why? Yeah, because this place is well known. The Masby? Oh. Yeah. The Masby is a well known uh, museum in Sao Paulo. You understand? This is a famous street, the whole of Brazil, this is a famous street. When you are in Brazil, to show that you are in Brazil, you have to be here. Wow. To show that you are in Brazil, you have to be here. It means that I am here. I'm in Brazil, man. But I mean, one of the things that I also read online is that on Sundays, this place, no car moves. Yeah, this place, uh, when a Sunday is blocked, the whole street is blocked for only bicycles, for people to exercise. That's what I'm saying. Dem demonstrations happen on weekends. Okay. Because that's the free day for people to come out and all that. But I must confess, it's a well-laid street. I mean, uh, bordering with skyscrapers and right opposite, you see, that's, uh, what do you call it? It's more like 
a park. A park, yeah? Yeah, that, that's a resting place. That's where you can rest. If you are tired, you can go and sit down there and maybe take a fresh air, you understand? Take fresh air, yeah. Having a park in the city is the way to go because you need to breathe in fresh air whilst you're still in the middle of a congested street. So, yeah. A resting place indeed after walking in the street of Sao Paulo decided to just rest in here the park is super clean man like look at that they got like a, a dustbin so you cannot see even a single rubbish on the floor man and everyone is walking with their dogs man it seems like everyone has a dog in this country you got two cute dogs man. <laughs> oh my goodness! That's a cute dog though. Oh, what's the name? Baby. Baby? Baby, yes. Oh, the dog is called Baby. Hi baby, how are you? Can you can you can you come and say hello to Daddy? Hi! Hey! Take your time. Can I oh no. It's too many things to get distracted. Oh yeah? But he's calm. He's calm? Yeah, that's alright. Nice. Are you from here? Yes. Oh, okay. Tell me something unique about Sao Paulo. Is it okay to... to? Yeah, sure. I like... There's a lot of different people doing different things and there's space for, for everyone here. I like it that, that... Wow! It's my first time here and I'm really loving it. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I was so surprised that everyone, almost everyone has a dog in this country. Yeah, we like... And here, I think this region is especially... Mm attracts people that like dogs and like walking with dogs Ooh, that yeah. says it all hey baby say hello to the camera <laughs> yeah okay hey. nice to meet you nice to meet you too hello. what's your name maya maya i'm isabella isabella yes isabella is a very common name in brazil yeah. like before coming here i had a lot of isabella isabella hola hola <laughs> that's all i know boa tarde it's good afternoon oh bo Bought what? Boa tarde. Boa tarde. Yes. By the time I leave here, I'll start speaking Portuguese. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you and nice bye meeting you. Bye bye. bye. Nice day. Oh. You know, I see if like I, I'm watching this video, I've never been to Brazil and I really want to come to Sao Paulo, yeah? Why should somebody out there visit Sao Paulo? <laughs> this is a funny question. Yeah? Yes. But uh, I think that is because it's beautiful. I guess because we have really, it's, it's a mixture of many different cultures here. I don't know, they could, they culture and the people, the places. I guess Brazil has this characteristic uh, of like cultures coming from various different continents. So, and it's a really big city and like with a good infrastructure. So there's many places for you to go. Talking about diversity and different cultures in Brazil, I found out that the biggest Japanese population out of Japan is in Sao Paulo. And I had to jump on the train to go check it out. But what I found was really shocking. This place is actually not a Japanese town. The real indigenous people of the land are blacks, but they were kicked out. <laughs> Metro, and I'm currently at uh, the most visited place in the whole of Sao Paulo because I checked online, that's what they told me, so I had to come and visit. And this place is called um, Liberdade, 
So it's basically more like a Japanese town within Sao Paulo, man. Um, the history behind it, I have no idea. But everything in here gives you a Japanese vibe. You see Japanese people all over the place. So whenever you visit Japanese towns, you need to eat Japanese food. So this is called like uh, Jiaozi. In China, we call it Jiaozi. It's dumplings. This is more like a fried dumplings. Uh, yeah. oh, come on. Let's go. Uh, soup. Yeah, soup pimpa. Uh, yeah, having a great time. Uh, yeah. So this is a, are you are you Japanese? Eh. Yeah. Yeah. We say Japanese. Yes. Yes. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see, bro. Maya imbida. Bangawio. You don't speak Japanese. No. Uh, ah, I speak Japanese though. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Boku no namaiwa maya desu. Oh. Ah. Ah. What's the name of the name? You have been Japanese. You are born here. What's the name of the name? Yes. yes. Oh. By Japanese parents? Uh, so some uh, Japanese, yeah. Yeah. And, they did, yeah. and they did not teach you Japanese? Yeah. 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 No, 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 no. But have you ever been to Japan though? Yeah. Japan. No, she said she has never been there before, but her parents have been there. Yeah. Please, visit Japan. Por favor, visit Japan. Ah, yes. <laughs> no, brother. What is it saying? So it's Prasa da Lidedaji, Africa, Japan. Wow! Yeah. Does it mean that this place is uh, a place for Africans and Japanese, not just Japanese yeah. people? Yeah, the liberation of Japanese and Africans. Yeah. Oh, wow! Yeah. Did you know this before? You just saw it? I just saw it. <laughs> I just saw it myself. You know, that's why I always have to I be here to myself. get a tiny details, man. Yeah. Finally. Good morning. Morning. I <laughs> um, just basically want to know who this guy is. Who is want to know who this guy is? Yeah, okay. who is he? He is Chaguinhas. He is a popular saint of Sao Paulo. He never became saint through the cathedral church, but he's a popular saint from Sao Paulo because of his history. He was a slave they rebelled against the Brazilian army in the colony, the colony times, and he was arrested and he was trapped here on the on the church. So he was taken by the he was taken for uh, from here to the the square, the Liberdade, the Praça da Liberdade, the Liberty Square, yeah. and he was hanged there. But the rope broke three times before uh, on the moment of, of hanging. In the moment of the, the hanging, the people scream Liberdade, freedom. So this is the, 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 name. Is the history of the name of Liber the neighborhood. Liberdade. What were the blacks doing here? Os pretos, eles, eles, eles são os iniciadores da liberdade. Eles começaram a liberdade. So, so they were the in, 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 indigenous people, indigenous people, indigenous people here in liberdade. Okay. They created liberdade. Aí veio o japonês. And came uh, the Japanese. The mm. Japanese people. Chinês, the coreano. And the Koreans came. Vieram. Yeah. E resolveram que é deles. And resolved that it's theirs. And they, take, they took over, yeah. E não. But no. É, é, é isso que nós, agora você presta atenção e aí você explica. Com, yeah. é, e é isso que nós fazemos aqui na capela. So é chamar is esses negros. Church here. Because that's not the truth. Like, the Japanese are taking over like it's for them. But that's not for them. So this is what they are doing in the church here, explaining to people uh, the real story. Yeah. Yeah, what I know is like black people were executed in here. Sim, muitos. She said a lot. Enterrados. And buried here. Who are the people that were killing them? Os brancos. 
the whites. E os próprios negros. And even the blacks were killing their own people. They, they were killed on the square and they were bring it here because here is the first public cemetery of the city. So, Slaves and native, Brazilian natives okay. and other immigrants like Italians, Portuguese. They so were buried, buried here. here. He was a was a was a graveyard to um, from 1775, yeah, and the church began on 1769. Oh, okay, so they built a church on top of the graveyard. Yeah. So down here, there are still people down there. Yeah. So this place right here is where slaves were hanged and killed. But before they killed them here, see the church right there? That's where they pray for them. And then they bring them here to kill them. Bom dia. Bom dia. <laughs> um, I, I, I just want to know if she's Afro-Brazilian. Sim. Born, she said yes. Born and raised in Brazil. Sim. She said yes. How does it feel being Afro-Brazilian in Brazil? Bom, às vezes eu me sinto muito injustiçada por causa do racismo. Mas ao mesmo tempo eu tenho uh, empoderamento. Eu me sinto muito empoderada. Okay, so she said uh, sometimes she feels injustice in Brazil because of the racism and all that. But sometimes she feels more encouraging, you understand? Oh, encouraging. There is racism in Brazil? Still racism in Brazil. Think. She said yes. It's shocking to see that wherever you see black people, racism exists. And on this note, I think I need to bring a new video about being black in Brazil. Don't forget to like this video. I hope you enjoyed this 40 minute video and um, subscribe and be part of this awesome channel. And hey, share the videos and let them know that Wadamaya is in Brazil. Thank you and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.